Pushback continues against Houston ISD Superintendent Mike Mills and the TEA over a plan to eliminate some libraries in the district for the upcoming school year. Fox 26's Shelby Rose reports from HISD headquarters where protests occurred this morning. They say cut back, we say fight back. Cut, cut back, fight back. Cut back, fight back. They say it's an attack on education. We want libraries, we want books. Libraries at 28 HISD schools will be no more. Instead, converted into spaces such as disciplinary centers for the new school year. Hundreds coming together Saturday morning to send Superintendent Mike Miles and the TEA a message. We got to fight back. That this will not be tolerated. The idea of turning a library into a detention room is nuts. No. And here's what I'd say not only to the superintendent, to the board. Yeah. Would any of you put your children in a school that does not have a library? Hell no. I was thunderstruck because libraries are the learning centers and the place where we want our children to go to acquire intelligence, intellect. We want them to go there to understand better the world that they're going to live in. Libraries are your community. Libraries are the heart of the school. And the librarians at these schools, which all fall under the new education system, losing their jobs in the restructuring. Now's your time to speak up. Dedicated librarians like Cheryl Hensley. And my principal tried. My principal is wonderful. My library is wonderful. But she had to make this choice, and so, of course, they were told they can keep me. So I ended up, like, not having a position this next year. Hensley was working at Lockhart Elementary, a now NES-aligned school, where she saw firsthand the impacts her library had on the students. It's lifelong learning. It's not just a day in, day out. It's everything that they absorb, everything that I do, I impact their life. And although she's without a job, this librarian of over 30 years says she won't stop advocating for HISD students. I don't know what brings me to this, but I know that I'm not giving up on this fight because I see the inequality of what's the haves and have nots. And everyone here certainly agreed. We will fight. Yeah. We will win yeah. because God is on yeah. our side. This group says they're also planning a trip to Austin to bring the protest to the governor's mansion. We got to do what? We got to fight back. Reporting at HISD headquarters, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News.